Hi. Yeah, see? That's karma. Talk to me like that. That's karma. That's karma. Don't talk to me like that. I can't remember what these are. But, yeah, all of it. Yeah. Welcome back everybody, what's up? Hope you guys had a great day. I had a pretty great day myself. And I'm, ha I'm having a pretty great day. Uh, it seemed like it took forever because we're on our way to an Acura dealership and I'm ready to pick up these car parts. I don't know. It just something, it's kind of like when you order something and then you can't wait for the tracking to hit and stuff like that and for whatever you order to actually show up to your house. But we are on the way now, just clocked out, and about, I don't know, maybe like 10 minutes away from work. I had to wait till I got off the highway because the truck is pretty loud and the phone was picking it up. So, yeah, let's start this vlog. Local Acura. This way. Alright, so parts are behind me. Got them. I'm super excited, but let's go to my grandma's restaurant, get some food, and then probably whenever we get back to the house, we'll install some of these. We just arrived at grandma's restaurant. So, yeah, pretty much in the hood. The plain view, which is one of them inside Wichita. And let's get some food. So they updated the menu. Got a lot of Thai food here. Got my Thai tea. That's what the meal looking like. We got a fish plate. We got a motherfucking fish plate. And let's head home. That was, that was a good meal. But uh, ordering Thai hot when it's hot as shit out, that is probably not the best idea, but still did it anyway. And we are home, everybody. Got the puppies outside, being goofballs. Hi. Yeah, see? That's karma. Talk to me like that. That's karma. That's karma. Don't talk to me like that. In the garage updates, Dewix's H22A is almost complete. So this prelude will be back soon. I can't remember specifically what we have left. We do need to cover these holes. Uh, we did have the turbo and stuff mocked up on it. If you follow me on Instagram, you've seen that. But let's get to Tonka. So I need to make a checklist or something next time I go out. I didn't buy fly traps. And there's like three. Do you see that one? You, did, did you see that one? There's like three flies flying around me and it's irritating me. Come on. Anyway. Hood tabs made. Welded on. I think I did a decent job. I grinded this part down a little bit because I welded the end closed right here and then I moved too far over and up so I welded on top of here on accident also but I'm not a professional so we'll see how that turns out let's get inside Tonka and open some parts give me a second I'm looking for my tripod I swear it was inside my side of the garage but I can't find it. I also know I forgot to take a thumbnail at Acura when I picked up the parts. I guess I was hurt trying to hurry up so I could let the dogs out. 
and you know finish up the vlog. If D Wicks used my tripod to get down and dirty with his little chicken heads running around, you owe me a new tripod. You could keep that one. You guys want to know how blind I am? It's right there. 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 Yeah, we should probably start sleeping. <laughs> start sleeping in the garage. Hey, shout out to all my Floridians, though. All my Florida people out there. All my gunners. All my gunners everywhere. But anyway. Hey, shout out to you, too. Thanks for watching this video. But we got our OEM RSX shifter box. There's the part number. A few more seconds. Let's get it. All right, guys. So to save you from boredom, I already took the solid shifter bushings off. I'm trying to get the focus. But shout out to Harbor Freight once again. You don't need any really fancy tools. These work just fine. So the reason. Give me a second. I did not think that through. But the reason why I got this instead, it's not really just like the price, is because I heard this is one of the best shifter boxes to run. Yes, I could have got the K-Tune one like I wanted and then match this, the billet one. That's very nice. It works. But you know what? Why not, for starters, try this. And then maybe we'll move up and see if we like that. Or we could just stay stock. That's nice. That's really nice. But, uh, yeah, I was debating for a solid bushing then. I was debating on, I can't find the OEM bushings. That was probably one of my hardest parts to hunt down. So I went ahead and bought solid bushings. I don't know if you watched that vlog when I talked about it, when I installed this plate, but it should work. I do really like the K-Tune one, but I feel like starting with this would be pretty good. Never know, I might like this one, but uh, maybe we'll test them out and see which one we like better. Like we'll start with this one and then drop Tonka like this for a while. And then if we have extra money, buy a K-Tune one, see how we like the K-Tune one and so on and so forth. And then if we don't like them or we don't use them, maybe we'll give them away. Lightly used for free. Maybe it'll help someone out. But even this little plate right here, it looks great. I really like it. It doesn't look off. Like I was honestly worried how the polished raw aluminum shifter plate was going to look with an OEM shifter box. But it looks pretty good. Okay guys, I'm dying. I'm dying in here. But you call me crazy if you'd like. Tonka is the first K-Swap car I've ever, will have ever driven. I haven't driven him yet. But... I've driven, you know, B series cars, turbo GSRs and stuff like that, but it, the K series is different. And I'm looking, I'm completely looking forward to it. But oh man. I'm I'm sweating. But <laughs> there's some stuff you keep OEM and there's some stuff you upgrade. The shifter box it can stay OEM or you could get the K21. The K21 is beautiful, don't get me wrong, and it works. But I know people with the K21 that prefer the OEM one and they switch back. But then like OEM seals and stuff. If you can, OEM seals, OEM, you know, uh, oil filter. They work great. OEM clutch master and clutch slave is a must. But, you know, upgrade your motor mounts. If you don't get billet ones, like completely solid ones like me, get Hasport ones. They work amazing. They don't break. But there's one thing, if I have ever learned something from Aki and Trappy, 
OEM shifter cable. You can possibly keep breaking transmissions if you use other cables. These cables, I've watched them put in work time and time again. Here's the part number. Alright guys, so before we conclude this video, I got the cables on. I do need to buy a clevis pin. This side needs a cotter pin. I it might need a little plastic washer. I can't remember. I'm very hot right now. I'm human. Yes, I did forget to order that, but it is what it is. For this clip right here, this is the part number. And then this little black piece that's slotted. That little flat side on top and bottom. Push it. Twist it. It'll help lock it. Um, I'm not going to fully latch these just in case I want to take the cables back off. Not permanent right now, but let's conclude this video. Thank you for watching. It is humid in here. But thank you for the support. We have reached 206 subscribers, I believe. Yes, I shouldn't be celebrating so soon because it is a like, little number. But this little, lump, this, uh, this little number means a lot to me. You might ask why. Well, yes, Slayers Racing isn't getting much attention right now, but that doesn't really matter. You guys are watching videos. I see the likes. I see the comments, you know. But you guys are actually either willing to learn or really support me because... It would be more entertaining if we were driving. Not a lot of people want to learn. So I really appreciate you guys. Stay blessed. Stay slammed. Most importantly, keep going. And eventually, we will gain a bigger following. But I do have stuff planned. Thanks for watching.